Hey guys, this is Coach Lou, and I wanted to say happy Saturday. I just got back from the time of my life. I went to what's called a Super Saturday. It is a quarterly event that's held by Team Beachbody in just about every state in the United States. And what uh, coaches do is they get together in major cities or in small towns, what have you. Uh, in the major cities, they get together in large groups. In the smaller towns, it's uh, you know little small informal sessions. But it's a way for coaches to go and connect with people who are also coaches. And it's exciting because it kind of takes the online activity into a real-world environment. You get to meet people with similar interests and goals as yourself. And that's to pay it forward, to help people, to you know be products of the product. But what it, what it also does is it gives us coaches a chance to learn about new products and to get insight on what's coming around the bend. And in this instance, they took a lot of time to go over in great detail the Ultimate Reset, which is uh, Beachbody's newest detox package, if you will. Um, there's been some concern in the uh, group lately. A couple of people messaged me and asked me some questions about uh, whether or not it's good for people who are doing, uh, you know, their programs like P90X or if there's um, any kind of, uh, you know, government backing on it, uh, federally, you know, federal approval or anything like that. And I'm waiting for an answer from Team Beachbody that I'm told I might get on Monday directly from the uh, coach relations that should tell us what kind of uh, approvals the product has. And I'm not really even worried about that because if I've learned one thing as being a coach, Every product that Team Beachbody uh, basically puts out is hands down spectacular. Uh, Carl is not about, uh, you know, call the CEO, call Dykla. He's not about making a product that's going to pull the wool out from underneath you. Uh, they really stand behind different things that they represent, and I'm very proud to be able to, to promote that. Um, but some other questions I was able to get answers for, such as the diet. The diet for this 21 day detox is actually one that includes meals. It's it's not like a Shakeology cleanse where you just have one meal a day. You're going to eat food during the day, and it's broken up into three phases, and each phase is about a week. You're eating pretty complete food. So uh, one of the members of our group was worried that this would cause you the potential to starve. That's not going to be the case at all. You will get enough nutrition. You're going to get everything you need. It's also not necessarily a, a vegetarian uh, diet. There's eggs, there's fish. Um, I don't have the diet yet. I, I'm waiting for my copy of the um, of the reset to come. Uh, I ordered it. So we'll see about that. Uh, the other concern that some people had was whether or not you could do it if you're doing a program like P90X or Insanity or Turbofire. And the answer is this is something you want to do in between rounds or if for some reason you have to stop it's a three-week program, and what you're basically going to do is no extreme exercise during that time period. You're going to do things like yoga or Tai Chang, or you could do um, you know, light walking, light jogging, swimming, nothing that's going to take you over the top. And I speculate that the reason for that is because the calorie intake is designed to keep your body functioning and running and up and moving while, you're, while your insides are doing the uh, real workout, while your insides are detoxing, getting rid of years of gunk that build up inside of you. And, you know, this may not necessarily be because you didn't have a healthy diet. You, you might eat the healthiest food, but you might have just, because of the way our world is, you might just have absorbed so much uh, pollution or, or toxins or what have you or anything from water. Um so this, this whole cleanse is an effort to do like a little restart on your insides, which is a really interesting thing. The, um, the other concern that uh, some people had was uh, whether or not this was something that you could do while taking Shakeology. And they offer that if you want to do tropical Shakeology, that can be one of the meals of the, th of the uh, three meals that you have during the day, if you will. So if I get more information on that, which I know I will come Monday, I'm going to forward that to everyone so that you don't have any questions or concerns. Um, you have to remember, a Team Beachbody coach is an independent person. Uh, I'm an independent Beachbody coach. That basically means I pay it forward. I don't make the product. I, I share with you my experiences. So 
if you put it all on a scale, I, I'm closer to what you are. You're the consumer. My role is to be the middleman. I, I want to help you by getting the best information I can for you. And that's, uh, you know, that's one of the things I enjoy about being a coach. But I want to go back to the Super Saturday and talk about that for a minute. This, this event blows my mind every time I get to go to it. And I think a good reason for that is, like I had mentioned, you get to see real people. You get to talk to other coaches. The first time I went to one, I was so scared. You know, I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't completely done with um, my second round of P90X. I was actually 10 pounds heavier than I am now. I'm wearing my uh, P90X2 jacket. It actually didn't fit too well at the time because they make this stuff like superhero outfits and it's form fitting. Now it's starting to really look like something nice and I'm, I'm hoping they come out with like a little mask or something. But anyway, the first time I went to a Super Saturday, I was thinking I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna be the, the most out of shape person in the whole room. And the good news is, that's not the case. You you go to these events, and you see other people just like you, and they're at different stages, and they're at different ages, and that's the beauty of what we're doing. You're you're not you're not on some kind of like athletic um, event program for the Olympics. All of us are doing these programs to to really lead strong, healthy lives. You know, if you're a young guy, if you're a young girl, and you're doing Turbo Fire, if you're doing Brazil Butt Lift, if you're doing Insanity, if you're doing P90X, it's exciting because you're young and you want to look good, you want to attract people of the opposite sex, what have you, and then you start to get into your 20s and you start to say to yourself, yeah, I don't want to be like somebody that gets old and gets out of shape, I'm going to keep doing it, I'm going to keep looking good, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Then your 30s come, and then you have a couple of kids, and you start to see your neighbors start getting a little heavy, so you really start to step up your gear. And then before you know it, you're in your 40s, like I am. I'm 45. And you, you look back, and you say, oh, my God, where did life go? What is going on? Now, when I first started doing P90X, just like everyone else, uh, just like a lot of people, I saw it in the infomercial. And I almost peed in my pants because it was those infomercials are scary as hell and I'm watching it and I turned it off because it you know it goes on and on and on and on you look at people that look good but then they show their before shot and some of them have before shots that look better than you look at the time so that that scares you so anyway about three weeks into it they're playing this over and over again I decide to get it and I buy it it shows up I do it for a week I don't follow the program. I do the disc in the sequence all wrong. I get very discouraged. I put it back in a box and I fling it on a shelf and it sits there for a year. And within that year, different things start to happen. Um, my marriage kind of goes kaput, which was going that way anyway. Um, I gained like 30 pounds. I had already gained 20 pounds, so now I'm 50 pounds overweight. Uh, actually, probably closer to 65. Oh my God. I get um, sleep apnea. I start getting high blood pressure. So I start to say to myself, you know what? I think it's time to go back to that program and try and do something. So I pull it off the shelf. I was uh, very afraid to do it. I, I kind of got re-inspired. I was, I was watching the, the first season of the uh, series Spartacus, Blood and Sand, and I was thinking, wow, if I look like that, I too could have a harem of beautiful women running all around. I'm not going to get into much further detail about that idea, but you see my point. So I, I start doing P90X, and I start getting really excited. And when I, when I first did it, I was in another group. I was one of 15 people that came together to do it. I said, you know what, I'm going to try it. I'll probably last only a week, but I'll give it a shot. And the funny thing is, I was one of only about two people that finished in the whole group. I finished 90 days of P90X. And I was extremely excited. And my coach, before I finished, uh, he approached me and he said to me, you know, you're a product of the product. You should pay it forward. You should consider becoming a coach. And I said to him, well, that's impossible. I, I never really played sports in high school. I was in chorus. I really don't know anything about coaching. I don't have any background in nutrition. Um, I got to reread the rules of football once my son gets older because I was more of a baseball kind of person. And he then starts telling me that you don't have to really know 
that kind of information to be a coach. Being a coach is about having a passion for helping other people. It's about being able to pay it forward. So I finally decide that I'm going to become a coach and, excuse me, I say to myself, I'll give it a shot. I was just about a week and a half shy of finishing my round. And right before I decided to become a coach, uh, I go find the Jack LaLanne Facebook page. And Jack LaLanne writes to me. And I was really inspired about that. And then shortly after he wrote to me, he unfortunately passed away. So I felt like this, you know, I got to carry the torch forward kind of thing. But the point I really want to make is that because I became a coach, I was not doing things differently than before I became a coach. What I was doing was helping others by vocalizing my story to them, by showing them my results, by giving them the enthusiasm to try this out on their own, to try other programs. And that's what a coach does. That's what we're all about. Um, some people are a little bit uh, confused about the notion of a coach. They don't know what uh, what you're expected to do. And the truth is, you're not expected to do anything. You don't have set hours. You, you don't, you don't even, um, you know, you don't really even have to go out and try and do anything. If you're, uh, if you're a product of the product, people are going to be drawn to you. So I don't want to, I don't want to turn this into like a whole thing on, on why you should become a coach, but I think many of the people in our group know my passion. I've reached out to a couple of you. If um, I think you're making a mistake by saying things like it's not the right time to be a coach or um, I'm afraid I won't make any money or I'm afraid I won't be able to recruit people or I'm afraid I'll be too mean. You've got to step up to the plate. Think about before you did P90X, before you did Turbo Fire, before you did Insanity. Think about how scared you were then. You were pretty scared, right? Ooh. You got over it. You did it. You pressed play. You went forward. That's what being a coach is. You don't have to be afraid. The only difference between doing your program and being a coach is you're not going to end up in like a sweaty mess when you're all done. Instead, you're going to feel glorified because you're helping other people. You're going to be so overwhelmed with motivation because you're helping many other people. When I go to bed every night, if I don't push play, I blink my eyes and I say, wow, Ooh, there's almost 400 people in my group that are counting on me to give them the right guidance. I can't just not do my workout. That is such a powerful motivator to be to be in that kind of a leadership role. And I think many of you think that I'm doing this alone, that I'm, I'm working my magic with the entire group by myself. I, it's not really the case at all. I have I have a whole group behind me. I have um, I have many coaches and team motivate who work with me and I work with them. And all of us are the same as you. We're, we're, you know, we're normal people. We have day jobs. Some of them are in the military. Some of them are stay-at-home moms. Others are in business. Others have no time and barely make time to work out. But they all have one thing in common, and they share a passion. And we work together. So I want uh, everyone uh, to just sort of think about that. And I want to just say uh, one more thing. And that is to just keep doing your best with everything. If it's your workouts, if it's anything in any aspect of your life, just, just keep everything up in here nice and clean. Just keep doing the right thing because your, uh, you know, your workouts are a powerful motivator. So that being said, everybody have a super Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm so pumped up from this super Saturday. I could talk on and on and on, but I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, cut this video and um, you guys just give me a message if you have any questions. Bye.